Well, OG put up a fantastic performance and the man on board, Jimmy McCarthy, it's a very, very special day for Jimmy because Jimmy's bowing out after all his years riding with a winner. And Jimmy, I'm, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits for you and it's obviously a, an emotional time for you. Yeah, it's been, it's sort of been on my mind for a while and I wanted to do it on, on that horse. And for Mrs. Robeson, she's been very good to me over the years and I wanted to go out on him. I was determined to win one more on him, seeing as he gave me the only grade one I've ever had, you know. Look back on your career, let's, let's start it off, you know, going back and all the different people that you've ridden for. I, well, I've, I've been around that long, most of them aren't here anymore <laughs> that I used to ride for. Uh, but I've been very lucky, look, I've ridden for everyone from champion trainers to struggling man and I've been very lucky, I've ridden a lot of nice horses. I've had a lot of luck, no major no major breaks or time off for stuff like that, so I'm getting out in one piece, so I'm, I count myself very lucky. And talks about your Cheltenham Festival success, I mean, they've been, been brilliant, you know. Well, I mean, look, they, Liverpool has been luckier for me than Cheltenham, to be fair. I've had a good few winners at Liverpool, but... What would be your best, best horse that you rode? I've ridden a lot of, a lot of horses at one good race, as well, I actually rode any superstar, I mean... Shadow Leader probably could have been. Yeah, that's awful, um, wasn't it, what happened You there? know, he was exceptionally good and obviously ended in tra tragic circumstances behind Isterbrack. He could have been the best saver, Oliver, but we'll never know. And you've, but you've ridden for some, and you've always been very popular and very loyal to people, Oliver Sherwood, Charlie Edge, and all these, all these sort of people. Yeah, I've had plenty of good people behind me for, like I say, a very long time, and none more so than Mrs. Robson herself. It's probably... If the bookies are running a book, it'd be who'd go first, me retire, her retire, but <laughs> she's won that bet. And, and what, what do you think, what is, what is the highlight of your career? I don't know, I've had plenty of good days, I suppose. Highlight is having had a good time yeah. and been very lucky and get out in one piece and say thanks very much. And of course, how long, how long have you actually had a licence for now? I think I had my first ride in 1987. <laughs> you must have seen... <laughs> but in fairness, I, and I've known you for years, you've always been very, very professional. When the rest of us are all out on the beer, you've always been, you know, you've always taken the game seriously, and that's secret to your longevity, I suppose. Well, I suppose it helped, but probably because I wasn't as good as a lot of them, I had to do something else, <laughs> and that was get fit and keep my nose clean. And, and, and what does the future hold for you? Going to carry on working for Jamie Osborne? Yeah, I mean, I'm there every day. Um, that's taken up more and more of my time. I coach a few of the kids, Tom Garner, Gavin Sheehan, Eddie Lennon. That takes takes up also a bit of time, so there's still plenty to do. And have you any regrets leaving the game or? None. Absolutely none. It's been very good to me and I've been very lucky. Well done, Jimmy. All right, cheers. Oh, yeah, we second those thoughts, Luke.